Right, so it's finally time to set up the 650 litre fresh water tank. So I've done a couple bits on the tank already. So I had to pull the tank out and get the background painted because uh, it's two and a half foot high tanks, buying a vinyl or a backing just wasn't suitable. So a couple coats of matte acrylic paint. Filtration has been done already. I'm gonna show you because I'm running it a little bit differently with the two canisters on it. But now it's time to get it filled up, scaped, heat it up and get it running. So starting with the filtration on the 650, we're gonna be running two FX6s. Now this one here is gonna be running pretty much normal as I do with all my FX filters, but with the upgraded sponges, removing the middle baskets, middle sponges, packing a lot, lot more media in there. But this one here is gonna be running completely different. So that there is what the second FX6 looks like on the inside. So it's basically just been rammed with nearly 25 liters of media now. Now the standard FX6 holds about five liters, um, even if you make space by removing the middle baskets and the sponges. We've now upgraded this to about four to five times the amount. So what I've done is I've just created a 25 mil U-shape or U-bend pipe setup. So what that's now gonna do is the water's now gonna travel down through here. It creates a U-shape and the water comes back up and now travels back out through the top and then down through the media and back into the tank. Originally, what would have happened, I would have had to have done this for two reasons. One, if this wasn't there with all the media in there, I'm trying to put the lid back on, we really just got so I wouldn't be able to get the pipe work back down in. So now it just pops into there. Second of all, the water would have traveled down into the, into the filter, into the canister, swelled around the bottom, and then shot back out into the tank, missing all the biological filtration. So water now travels down, up through the pipe, comes back out through the top, down through all the media, hits the outlet, and straight back out into the tank. 25 liters of media now in this canister and five liters, but the fine and coarse sponges, upgraded sponges in that one. And then with the inlet, if you're wondering just how I'm gonna keep it clean and tidy, you're not gonna be able to see it, but inside the strainer, I've rammed a massively high PPI sponge. So I've kept it right at the top. That's all I can do, maybe once a week, it's probably maybe once every two weeks. I have to just pull that out, clean the sponge off, stick it back in, but that will pretty much collect everything before it goes into the canister, keeping that nice and clean. But other than that, Let's get this scoped and set up. So it was you guys that voted on the community page of what tank you were most looking forward to and wanted to see set up next. So I present to you the new aquarium in the tank room, the 650 fresh water. Oh, you piece of shit. The 650 fresh water.
So the scape has come together absolutely beautifully. Got some beautiful and stunning driftwood in there. Now these are really large pieces. They're about two to three foot in length. Um, the biggest bit, the tallest bit there is just over two and a half foot high. The other bit's about two, two foot high and one just a little bit shorter. And the detail in every groove on the wood just stands out. It just creates so much depth within the tank. Like I said, there's just layer after layer and layer of detail when it's on both the wood and on the rock. You know, the bits I picked out, both wood and rock, I made sure there's just plenty of different heights, different grooves, different levels. And like I said, it now all just really runs nicely together. But the wood finishes off the tank and the scope absolutely, well, it just looks incredible. And I'm hoping it comes across on camera as good as it looks in person. The stone in there, now it's a rustic sleigh. Again, I picked this up from a garden center. Again, like I said, I do try to support the local fish shops as much as possible. But again, when you go shopping, it's something like a local garden center. This rock, they're charging per piece or you get discount if you buy two at a time. When a local fish shop would have charged per kilo and that would have been hundreds and hundreds of pounds of rock in there. But together, combined together, it just looks absolutely stunning. Like I said, really, really, nice large bits of driftwood uh, two or three bits as well out in the garden that I didn't use same with the rock and maybe got a little bit carried away but the slate the rustic slate and the wood the colors just bounce off each other and complement each other and I think it just looks absolutely stunning so it's being lit up by the evergrow lighting now yeah they are marine lights but again i use a lot of marine lighting on all my tanks one usually if you've got a full spectrum set of lights or a controller you can achieve a fresh water look and then the added benefit to that is you've got the ultraviolet setting on there and you can pop it on maybe five ten percent just to make the colors in the tank and the fish themselves pop a little bit more the filter the fx6 the modified fx6 it's running it's running as expected no leaks it's functioning absolutely fine the flow isn't as high as i'd like it to be now i think that may be the high ppi sponge that's in the strainer so i'm going to play around with that drop the ppi a little bit if that's still restricting the flow a bit too much i'm going to switch it over to a filter floss in there but like i said it's functioning fine i can hear the i can actually hear the water hitting the top of the canister and trickling down but like i said obviously yeah the head height is high on this tank so it's going to restrict the flow a little bit but the other outlet on the other fx6 is flowing absolutely fine as expected the heat is at the moment in the background and they are going to be replaced. I'm actually going to go and get two black, matte black ones so they blend into the background a little bit more. These heaters as well are Eheim heaters. Now, I've always relied and stood by Eheim products, German made, but at the moment, these heaters are set on 22 degrees, but the tank is currently running at 26. So guys, keep an eye on your heaters. But other than that, I think it just looks absolutely beautiful. But to be honest, it's probably my most favorite escaped tank in here at the moment. And the fish, they're just gonna finish it off. So there she is, set up and ready to go. The 650 freshwater setup. And you guys, like I said, you were voting on the community page and it was this one that you were most looking forward to being set up most. Second thing is, and the main other reason we had to get it set up quite urgently was if you follow Tank TV, you would have seen two, three weeks ago on the tank room tour, tank room update. There's a fish that I've been looking for specifically for this tank for about five or six months. Finally located them, thanks to Sean at Tropco. They landed in the country all the way from Indonesia on Monday. Day. It's now Friday. The tank being set up was delayed a few days. I was laid up on the couch with man flu. Boo hoo for me. I'll leave my address in the description below so you can send me get well soon cars, flowers, and grapes. But the tank is now set up and running. It's warmed up. The FX6, the modified FX6, is running really well and it's just ready to go. Now, for the first time in a very long time, I do not have fresh water media to transfer over to instantly cycle the tank. So we're going to be doing a fishless cycle. But one thing I am going to do over the next few weeks is I'm going to try a product out which is hopefully going to take a fresh water or a fishless cycle from eight weeks down to two to three weeks. So saying again, if that's something that you're interested in or want to see if we can do it, hopefully we can touch wood. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button. Next time you see this tank, there'll be some new fish in it. See you then.